What's up guys? As you may already know, Andrew told us on Twitter earlier that his lawyer did a great job and that he was positive he'd get released soon. However, unfortunately things didn't turn out the way he was expecting and they'll be locked up for another 30 days. According to a Romanian news source, the Bucharest court decided in the session on Tuesday, February 21st, which is today obviously, to extend the arrest warrants for the Tate brothers by another 30 days and instantly release the two girls, Georgiana and Luana, and place them on house arrest. This is amazing news for the girls who got arrested along with Andrew and Tristan, but really terrible news for the Tate brothers. That being said, they said that their lawyers are really good and they're going to appeal this, so maybe we get much better news over the next few days. According to the article, Andrew's second lawyer said in court that the prosecutors did not present any new evidence. He also said that for this reason, they're confident in how the case is going as of today. In their own words, nothing new was brought to light. Moreover, he called out DCOT, saying that the authorities supported their preventative arrest on grounds of, quoting, their attitude in the state of arrest, and that this is absolutely unjustified and unproven, which I completely agree with. The Romanian press interviewed the lawyers after the extension. We have just finished discussing the second proposal to extend the preventive detention measure. The court has yet to rule on this. They will deliberate. Surely today we'll get the court's decision. The letter? And under no circumstances was this an argument for extending the measure. What do you expect? Favorable court decision. Will you contest it? If the decision will be unfavorable, certainly. What was the discussion in the courtroom? What are your hopes? I have just replied to your colleague. We have hopes. And what was discussed in the courtroom? Given the non-public phase of the trial, I cannot divulge this, unfortunately was discussed differently from the past appeals. If until now we have analyzed and re-examined the evidence submitted in the case so far, today we have insisted on the grounds that were taken into account when the preventive arrest measure was taken, have disappeared, have ceased. Through the effectiveness of the defense, we say that we have effectively paralyzed the evidence administered so far in the case, so the grounds have ceased, and the new grounds are not in the nature as to lead to an extension of the preventive detention measure. We have great confidence today because, in essence, the prosecution's office has failed to bring new elements from the perspective of the original charges made. Nothing new has been brought to light from the perspective of the evolution of the investigation. It is not one of those cases where we say, dear God, you see, the prosecution has added new charges, which is very good for the defense. DCOT only came up with some absolutely circumstantial issues, their attitude while in detention, which to me it seems to be an absolutely unjustified, unproven matter and which cannot ordinarily support a measure of preventive arrest further. Have the prosecutor presented new evidence? Has this letter been brought up? Can new charges be brought on basis of this letter? There was no mention of any letters or other matters. Have prosecutors presented new evidence in the case? That's exactly what I said. They have not come forward with any new evidence regarding the original acts for which our clients were charged with. Has the criminal investigation been extended for money laundry? Was this dropped because it had been considered? The criminal investigation regarding our clients hasn't been extended for any other offenses, let alone money laundering. In your opinion, is it a process? Is it a normal duration, this extension to two months, three months? From your experience? From my experience, I can tell you that it is unnatural that after two months of preventive arrest, the criminal case is still at the same stage as it was two months ago when the preventive arrest measure was taken. Mr. Solicitor, did the prosecutor ask the two brothers to keep quiet? On the contrary, the two brothers asked themselves to be heard by the prosecutors as well. And if you can imagine, two months after they made that request, one of the defendants has not even been heard. Why do you think they are not progressing in this case? Based on your experience, what would be the reason for it? Please ask another institution this question. How are they at this moment? Hopeful, but also disappointed with the way things are going from the perspective of the evolution of the criminal investigation. We know that the main reason for which the court admitted the preventive arrest were that the two could in influence the victims or flee the country. And uh, Mr. Vedinak said that these reasons would cease. How exactly? Mr. Vedinak doesn't say it. The European case law says it. The case law of the European court, which constantly says 
is that you cannot keep coming back with the same reasons that you initially had in mind when you took the preventive arrest measure. You have to bring new elements. Has the evidence from the computer search has been analyzed? The prosecutors tell you if they finish analyzing that. Following the computer searches carried out from what is in the file, no new evidence has been brought to date. This investigation just keeps taking longer and longer, and it's starting to feel like a roller coaster. I can't wait for Andrew and Tristan to finally show the world how corrupt the whole situation is, and I'm sure everything will end up just fine, since their legal team keeps coming up with very good arguments. As always, tell us your thoughts in the comments down below, and please leave a like and subscribe with notifications turned on.